friends today we will learn what is functional dependency what is functional dependency that is denoted by capital fd as well as small f dot d dot what is functional dependency let's understand that it is denoted by x arrow y functional dependency always denoted by x arrow y but what is x arrow y let's understand that and it is denoted in the figure like that x and y are two set of attributes then x determine the value of y it means that x is a determinant it will determine the value of y so x are set of those attribute whose value can determine value of y if we supply all the values of x attributes we will get the value of y variable if we supply roll number we can get name if we supply roll number we can get age so our dependency could be roll number determine age same way roll number determine name so these are my two functional dependencies that i can say functional dependency 1 functional dependency 2 okay here age and name are the dependent and roll number are the determinant x is a determinant y is a dependent now let's take one example here i have taken a account table which is consist of three attributes one is called account number another is balance and third attribute is branch name if we supply account number we can get the balance of that account number so this is first functional dependency in this table again if i supply account number i can get the branch name as well so this is my second functional dependency what is the meaning of this it means when we know the account number we can get balance or we can get branch name so all together i can say that from account number i can get branch name as well as balance both so that could be denoted as functional dependency account number 2 balance and branch name here account number is determinant and balance and branch name are dependent whose value will be depend on value of account number so this is determinant and this is dependent how this functional dependency will be denoted in the figure so this is the figure here our table are that is account so functional dependency account number 2 balance and branch name remember here how we can draw this figure we have to draw arrow from de uh, determinant we have to draw arrow from determinant and it will point out to the dependent attributes so this is the functional dependency it is written now let's go deeply into the functional dependency can we have more than one attribute at the side of determinant again my question is can we have more than one attribute at the side of determinant yes it can let's take one more example to understand this here i have taken a example of table account underscore holder this is my relation this is a new table account underscore holder it consists of three attributes first one is the customer id then account number and then access date here if i supply customer id and account number then and only then i can get the access date so this is my functional dependency here customer id and account number are the determinant and access date is the dependent if i supply customer id and account number then and only then i can get access date so customer id and account number are my determinant 
these two columns determines the value of access date attribute so these two together are determinant and this is dependent so this can be denoted in the figure like this my relation relation name table name it is account underscore holder my columns attributes customer id account number access date here two columns are determinant so customer id and account number from where we will start drawing arrow and it will point out to access date dependent so this is my functional dependency customer id account number defines value of access date thank you hello friends if you like my video please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press bell icon so i can give you more and more updated videos thank you very much